Hey icons, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. As you can tell by the title, I will be sharing with you guys some tips that I have on how to reach over 3k followers on Instagram. Let's get into it. Instagram page back oh, in high no. school that was like around 2016 2017 so I started that page around that time and I wasn't really looking to grow that page that much because the niche that I really wanted to dive into was fashion I didn't really have that access fashion outlets I guess you can say so I was limited, I was boxed in, and I wasn't really striving for growth on that old account. But anyways, I still posted on it because I like Instagram and I like the idea of having pictures and stuff like that online. It was not until like 2020, I'd say, that I really started to take this journey seriously of growing my Instagram. And I just started a brand new page from scratch. And like I totally disregarded that old account and I just started fresh so one thing I would recommend like first tip start a new account because the thing with Instagram is if you have the app for a long time and your followers are like stagnant it's going to be hard to pick that up and like gain some momentum on your page so I just recommend starting over from scratch you're gonna to lose let me tell you for real, for real. Like we're start fresh, start over, it's fine. Especially know that you're gonna zero in and focus on growing the page. So that's what I did. I started over from ground zero. So now my new page, which is my current page, I started growing it and it took about like a like couple of months before I hit my first 1,000 subs subscribers. <laughs> It took like a couple months before I reached my first 1,000 followers and it was pretty exciting because on my old page I only had a thousand plus so a thousand plus followers so really and truly I was literally like right where I was with my older home at a faster rate that's what I realized off the bat like once you commit from the jump like from creating that page you're gonna see growth pretty fast like you're gonna see some momentum in your page growing so that's what i realized and then once i hit 1k the goal was obviously to hit 2k i zoned in really really focused on my niche as you know i do fashion and beauty related content so that's like styling outfits styling clothes doing makeup so that's just my like niche that's my category that's the that's what I fall into in the algorithm and it's very important to build your niche so you can know what you're focusing on and what you want to post the content on. For me personally, on my old account, I didn't have a niche, I was just posting. The peak of my page, my old page, was a thousand, like it was not getting over a thousand three hundred or whatever it was at the point. But hey, yeah. But yeah, so that was like back around like in 2021 2022 i hit the 2k and then now for 20 i think the ending of 2022 to 2023 i hit 3k so that was really exciting aim is 5k you now because I'm, I'm really working hard to get my page to 5k and then 10k but yeah so we're just we're just at 3k we're just at 3k it's fine it's okay it's okay okay so the first tip that i have is to post consistently so everybody says this tip and it's really daunting and like very like vague because not everybody has the same meaning to the word consistent based on your schedule your priorities you posting consistently might mean once a week someone who has a lot more free times on their hand posting consistently could mean seven days a week so it all really depends on your schedule your comfortability especially if you're starting out and you're starting new you don't have a lot of eyes on you there's not much pressure to like be posting every day 
but just find what works for you and stick to that. I've gone into this zone, like this little wave where I would post, I make sure I post every week. That's literally the baseline. I don't go a week without posting. That's either reels or um, the carousel post. I don't go a week without posting either one. But I try to get out a form of content at least, I'd say four to five times a week because I want to make sure that my content is always in the forefront of a followers page like of a viewers page i think the word is really often because if you're posting often the algorithm is gonna catch up on that they're gonna see that hey this person posts quite regularly they post often let's push their content out for more people to see and hence why you'll gain more followers like if people aren't seeing your content they're not gonna follow you right so once you have more content to post and you have that out it increases the probability of other persons finding your platform and following you so consistency depends on you your schedule your lifestyle and it also depends on like what your your comfortability is right so I say if you're just starting out, as you should because you created your new page, you're just starting out, so post like I guess once a week. Try to keep that up and then once you get comfortable or you have more free times on your hand, you can up that number to like three times a week, four times a week, five times and it can vary in whether you're posting a carousel post or a reel. So it varies, okay? So consistently. So a next tip that I'd have is to use relevant hashtags. Before, I wasn't really utilizing hashtags as much as I could have. As of recently, I'm seeing the growth where I wasn't seeing that before because I didn't use hashtags. They are helpful, but they are helpful to an extent. I would not overuse it. I would just use like, I think the limit is 30 they don't allow you to use more than 30 i just use through like 5 to 15 hashtags that should get your post out to a good amount of viewers and you obviously will receive engagement as a result because it's among a certain hashtag instagram is going the seo route so like where you can search up a word the relevant hashtags for that word will come up so it will show posts related to that search related to that hashtag so if you use that specific hashtag in on your post and a person let's say they search up fashion and you use a fashion hashtag they are likely to see your post within that hashtag so it's always good to use and utilize hashtags that are specific and that are relevant to your post you don't want to use no random hashtag like explore page i used to use that and i stopped and i didn't use i don't use it a lot but i used to use it to see if it works and it really didn't work so don't use it at all at all don't use that it's so generic <laughs> engage with your followers like for real for real we are not superstars i just i know for myself like i am not a superstar i am nobody so for somebody to take time out of their day and comment on my post i'm gonna make sure that i return a comment i say thank you so much for supporting me something just reply like don't leave comments unanswered if someone reposts your um content just like thank them or like show some like show that you appreciate that but don't like disregard it as if okay whatever like we're like we're literally starting out so we see every notification that comes in it's not like oh my god i'm big and i missed the notification like you see that notification so don't ignore it like engage with your viewers engage your audience new viewers will see that and say okay she responds to comments okay she's like you know she's nice i'll want to follow her and boom, just like that you gain a follower because you are engaging if somebody looks through your your comments for your post the comment section for your post and see that you don't reply it's kind of a turn off because it's like who do you think you are not responding to these people who are supporting you 
It's rude. Don't be Don't fucking do rude. Are you kidding? It is disrespectful. Always make sure to like engage your viewers, engage your followers that you already have so that you can have the potential to gain more. All right, so real quick, let me just show you guys. I had, I think this was like around last year. It's gonna like, can't really see, but I think it was around last year. What I did was I had like this post schedule that I stick to. So like Monday, I'll post a reel, a fashion related reel. Tuesday, a relatable or funny reel. Wednesday, I had quality feed, co feed post. Thursday, another reel. Friday, another quality feed post. Saturday, another reel. Sunday, another reel. And this was like my schedule to post every day because i really wanted to post every day i even had like that time slots like i don't know if you can see but i even had the time slots because when like my audience was most active and i just broke it down so that i found what was best for me and what worked best for me at the time my follower count was 2239 and I needed 761 to hit 3,000 followers, so I needed a plan to reach that goal, and I reached it back in December, like late 2022, early 2023. So, just find find something that works best for you. Okay, so the next tip that I have is to share high quality photos and videos. So I know this is kind of like obvious, but like sometimes some people don't realize that their images that they're uploading or like their video quality is trash. If you have an iPhone, I can definitely help you to make sure that your quality images come out. Perfecto, perfecto, perfect. So you want to make sure that when you're taking your images, you use the back camera. The back camera is what you're supposed to use when taking your photos for Instagram. You don't want to use the front camera because it will lessen the quality of your image overall. It's, it's just, it's overall not a good idea to use that. Also, don't use, I would recommend using like third party apps so any apps beside the camera app i don't recommend using i know sometimes it's kind of hard when you're taking pictures by yourself and you need a third party app like for example lenza so like you get to help you um take the pictures without actually being behind the camera or having someone be behind a camera or like those three second timer that, that does not even work <laughs> so, so i know in terms of that that is like probably the only exception that I gave because Lynn like Lynn's body is not that bad um in terms of quality reduction but it is still bad so I recommend using the camera that comes with your phone and also when you go into the Instagram app make sure that your upload quality is at high like upload high quality images i think it's over wi-fi or over data i don't know what it is specifically it's gonna be right here on the screen but make sure that you're uploading high quality images over instagram so like make sure that setting is ticked because if not it's probably gonna like ruin the quality of the picture or the photo when it comes on to reels it's a little bit different um there are some certain tips to like ensure the quality of the video is maintained make sure to play the video out to its full length before hitting the next button for the reel upload it over wi-fi and yeah overall filming on your camera first the last tip that i have for you guys is to collaborate with other users who are in your niche so if you are in, for example, the fashion niche, make sure to collaborate and partner up with other creators on the platform that are into fashion niche. I would not recommend you going out of your niche because then it's going to attract an audience that is not aligned with your like niche and it's going to like negatively impact your growth because yes you might get the views but you're not gonna it's not going to translate to followers or engagement so it's going to hurt your page
page overall if you do work with people outside of your niche. Also, if you are gonna like partner up with other people, like just make sure that it's person so you can work with easily and who you're comfortable also in like, making content with and stuff like that. So yeah, that can help to boost follower account a lot because their followers are going to translate probably come over to your page and be like okay hey, yeah this person does the same thing i want to follow this person just like that so yeah guys these are some of the tips that have worked for me um in terms of growing my page to over 3k like we're on the road to 5k i don't know about you but i have to reach 5k this year and potentially 10k because i i just that's what I need for real, for real. 10k. <laughs> yes. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Also, go ahead, head over to my Instagram. Have it linked down below. And follow me there so that you can be a part of this journey. And yeah, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Share it with your friends. Share it with your boo. Share it everywhere. Make sure. Right, I'm so annoying. <laughs> I'm in danger. But yeah, guys, I will catch you in another video. We didn't talk. Bye.